Hello, it's Ryan Stevens. What a weird and wonderful E3 it's been, and I would like to deliver to you 50 errant thoughts I've had about E3. I don't know if they're actually errant, but uh, sounds good, doesn't it? Number one, Jaeger, who made Spec Ops The Line, are the guys making Dead Island 2, not Techland. Number two, Jaeger is also making a new PC game called Dreadnought. Looks pretty cool. Number three, The Last of Us is going to be infecting Diablo 3 with Special Infected. Number four, and so will Shadow of the Colossus with some armor. Number five, Mother 3 was officially acknowledged by Nintendo of America. Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3! How about this instead? <laughs> Number 6. Little Big Planet 3 is being developed by Sumo Digital, not Media Molecule. Number 7. Uh, Suda 51's Lily Bergamo, I think I'm saying that right, is now uh, Let It Die, for better or for worse. 8. Itagaki's Devil's Third lives and is now a Wii U exclusive being published by Nintendo. Number nine, there are elephants in the Himalayas as demonstrated by the Far Cry 4 demo. 10, elephants have a lot of hit points. Number 11, is it destiny that there are wizards on the moon? The hive has been on Earth in centuries. That wizard came from the moon. Number 12, Doom lives, and it has cyber demons. Number 13, Vibribbon is the best rhythm-driven vector game that never made it to North America. Word. <laughs> Number 14, uh, PlayStation Now, which was the Gaikai thing that Sony bought, is going to be using a rental service plan for you to play the old games. Number 15, that Uncharted 4 trailer was an engine, and that's cool. Number 16, Nintendo's Amiibo initiative will have the figures work in multiple games. Number 17, Kojima edits his own trailer. Number 18, Pac-Man is coming to Smash Brothers, and he shares a birthday with Mr. Game & Watch. Birthday year, anyway. Number 19, Cuphead coming to Xbox One and PC looks like an old 1930s Disney Silly Symphonies cartoon, and it looks rad. Number 20, Play Dead, the creators of Limbo, are looking to take us on another captivating but probably emotionally awful ride in Inside. 21, Fable Legends is trying to keep the Bullfrog legacy alive with a take on Dungeon Keeper for the multiplayer, and not like the crappy iOS one. Number 22, Oculus Rift creator Lucky Palmer really likes super hot. Like, really, a lot. Like super Palmer. hot! Super hot Palmer. Rocking it on Spike <laughs> TV. Number 23, No Man's Sky is probably being developed by more than four people now. Number 24, no surprise, Bayonetta is into cosplay. Flock off, Featherface. Number 25, Conquer is back. He's in Project Spark. Does that mean Project Spark's gonna get an M rating? Number 26, Nintendo's Reggie fils -Aimé will probably kick your ass, just not in Smash Brothers. Before we go, can I play you for glory? Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, now your me is in the game, Reggie. No, my my me is in the game. So, look, I gotta be honest with the community. I gotta be honest, right? I play all of the Nintendo games. I suck at Smash. Number 27, Miyamoto's tech demos, Project Guard and Giant Robot uh, aren't doing much for me. Number 28, what exactly is going on with Star Fox? Number 29, it's not cool for Batman to have guns, but it's totally cool for the Batmobile to have guns. You are the product of everything you fear. Oh. Hey, Mom. No, I'm okay. Yeah, no, I, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I know, I'll call Dad. I know it's Father's Day. Okay. Uh, number 30, Evolve finally added a new monster, and it looks like Cthulhu. 
31, your friends can play co-op Far Cry 4 with you without owning the game. They'll just probably need to download a giant file. You should probably Google Battle.net spawning. Number 32, despite the rumors, there is indeed actual gameplay in the Order 1886. Number 33, NeoGAF, which was not recognized as a legitimate media outlet by the powers that be that govern E3. Got a big name drop in the Sony press conference, just saying. Or forums like Reddit and NeoGAF, we are constantly connected to you, the gamers, all around the world. Number 34, Smash got delayed on the 3DS until October. Number 35, X Naughty Dog, XTHQ's Jason Rubin, is now at Oculus Rift. Number 36, uh, the menu cursor in Destiny has you going all around like a mouse cursor to get your thumbs warmed up. Thanks, Rohan. Number 37, that Last of Us remastered trailer was pretty spoilerific, and who covers Nirvana song still? Kinda cool. Number 38, Aisha Tyler of Ubisoft and Archer fame started an Ask Me Anything thread on NeoGAF. Number 39, Hyrule Warriors does not look awful. Number 40, and I have to read this one. Codename Steam stands for Strike Team Eliminating the Alien Menace acronyms. And it features Abraham Lincoln in his weirdest appearance since the ending of The Conduit 2. Look it up. Number 41, Chilean game designers and surrealists Ace Team are making an amazing game called Abyss Odyssey. Thanks, Ben. Number 42, it's been reported that you will not be able to use a shield in Bloodborne but we did see enemies using shields, so. Number 43, did you know there's an extended version of the Dead Island 2 trailer? And it makes the douchebag jogger even douchier. Number 44, Nintendo is making a white PlayStation 4. Number 45, Little Big Planet 3 will have 16 layers of depth. Number 46, Tales from the Borderlands will have you be playing as an unreliable narrator, which is kind of cool. And there will be loot somehow and guns. Number 47, Magicka 2 will not be developed by Arrowhead Games, who are continuing their co-op zeitgeist with the new Gauntlet game and Helldivers. It's being made by Pieces Interactive, who worked on some of the Magicka side mission stuff. Number 48, people literally cannot talk about Lords of the Fallen without mentioning Dark Souls. Number 49, the Mario Maker debut trailer thing Took a little bit of inspiration from ROM hackers who made those levels where Mario doesn't move at all and still gets to the end. Kind of interesting. Congratulations! Number 50. I'll miss you guys.